All right, hey there guys and welcome back. We are talking to Nathan and let's give you a quick uh, and myself a quick uh, refresher course because I may have taken a bit of break in between last episode and this one. Hello again, Doctor. I had a bit of a shaky loop incident, but let's not talk about it. Yesterday, I set fire to Hannah's clothes in the garden. Okay. I, I just wanted the day to move forward. I instantly regretted it. And lo and behold, here we are, a new day. Hannah's clothes are piled of ashes. Shaky loop incident. Okay. A uh, pile of ashes. I think fire is very primal in terms of energy. Maybe Agreed. if I burn something, my days will keep rolling. Although I'm not sure you're supposed to encourage arson in these sessions, Doctor. Okay, that didn't take us anywhere. Hello again, Doctor. Maybe Hannah? Hannah. I've got nothing. Okay, well, let's get something a bit more solid then. Hello again, Doctor. I had a bit of a shaky loop incident, but let's not talk about it. Yesterday, I set fire to Hannah's clothes in the garden. Uh, you set fire to Hannah's clothes? Clothes? I've kept almost all of her stuff as she left it. Just the clothes. I've decided to burn those yesterday, so here I am. <coughs> Pardon me. Every season, she'd donate her entire wardrobe to some charity or another. Okay. Only buy stuff she loved. And I was left with winter. I don't even know what her favourite season was. Does it matter? What's your favourite season, Doctor? Uh... Hmm. My favourite season is winter. If you like winter, you're supposed to be hard-working and analytical. I suppose that increases my chances of you curing my problem. I don't think winter was Hannah's favourite season. Not colourful enough. Did Hannah like spring? I don't think that was a, I don't think that was an answer. Okay, uh, summer. Can't help me. All right, no problem. Uh, so there's a little bit left here. I've kept almost all of her stuff as she left it. Kept her stuff as Just she left the clothes. it. I've decided to burn those yesterday, so here I am. Hannah loved clothes. Every season, she'd donate her entire wardrobe to some charity. Hannah liked charity. Hannah was forever giving to charity. Okay. Her things, her time, our money. I actually suggested a charity that Dr. Decker mentioned called Mind Stretch Outreach. Mind Stretch Outreach? Mind Stretch Outreach arranges programs for gifted children. It's for poor, clever kids who can't afford private education. It's okay. not much of a charity. I guess, but it certainly ends up with a lot of clever people who are thankful to the people running it. Which, in this case, is Dr. Decker. Interesting. Grateful? Pass. Alright, yeah, 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 yeah. I, didn't, I wasn't ready. Okay, kept so let's see if there's anything else here. Uh, kept Han Hannah's stuff. Sorry. Yeah, no, no, I wasn't really expecting that one to work. all of her stuff as she left it. Just the clothes. I've decided to burn those yesterday, so here I am. Hannah loved clothes. Every season, she'd donate her entire wardrobe to some charity or another. Okay. And only buy stuff she loved. And I was left with winter. I don't even know what her favourite season was. Does it matter? What's your favourite season, Doctor? Buy, buy stuff she loved. That's not really something. No, that's fine, that's fine. Uh, yesterday. I don't know. Set fire yesterday? Should I know something? No, 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 it's fine. Uh, let's ask him about Valentine's Day to get out of the I way. I was at Henley Church on Valentine's Day. Visiting Hannah's grave. 
the anniversary of her death. Her parents wanted a huge funeral with all the trimmings. Hannah would never have come for it. But it does give me somewhere to visit. I got to write the epitaph. Epitaph? We walk alone without our angel. Walk alone. I've been alone since Hannah. I can't imagine anyone ever replacing her. Not that I've looked. Do you think I should look for someone else? Yes, I think you should move on. I'm not sure if this is going to click. Sorry. Yeah. Yes, I think you should look for someone else. Okay, fine. I'll try. I'm not really sure what I'm looking for, though. Just sign up to Tinder and start swiping. Maybe it's just company I'm missing. Although I don't really want any. Angel. I'm not religious. But when I wrote Hannah's epitaph, I knew her parents would want some acknowledgement of the great bearded one. But she was an angel to me. She was an angel to everyone. Okay. <sighs> Poor guy. I was at Henley Church. Henley Church. Henley Church. Church. I left Henley Church about 11 o'clock on Valentine's Day. I was talking to an archaeologist who said it then covered some fossils resembling a strange cephalopod-like creature. Strange place to find an octopus, really. What? Do you think I've got something to do with Dr. Decker's murder? Maybe you should ask your assistant who Decker saw that day. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Hannah was forever giving Forgiving charity. charity. Her things, her time, our money. Money. I actually suggested a charity that Dr. Decker... Oh, money? Pass. Damn it! Okay, 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 that's fine. Anna was forever giving to charity. Her things, her time, our money. I actually suggested a charity that Dr. Decker mentioned called Mind Stretch Outreach. Dr. Decker suggested a charity? Dr. Decker felt that Hannah was holding me back. Okay, that works. The memories of Hannah. The memories of Hannah. In his opinion, I was holding on to the past. So I guess he cursed me. If that's even a thing. I mean, cursed you? Yes, Dr. Decker cursed me. I don't really want to talk about it, but let's just say I blame him for the way I am. Can you give me some advice, Doctor? Yes, I can give you some advice. I think that's how good I have. I've been yeah, trying to think how I can get past today. I've come up with a couple of choices. I could set fire to Hannah's photographs. I've got them in Dropbox anyway. But setting fire to the clothes did the trick. Or setting fire to a rocking chair. She sounds like an old lady, but she loved that rocking chair, which I've not sat in since. Which one okay. do you think's best? Neither. That's not really. Uh huh, uh huh. Don't set fire to any or e either. Either of them. You. You need to move on. I don't know. Uh, set fire to the. Rocking chair. Set fire to the rocking chair. I never like the way it moves forwards and backwards. Forwards and backwards. Yep, it's a metaphor for him. Ah, uh, poor dude. Well, as long as you know, I I think I think he's just dealing with guilt. Let's talk about guilt. Okay, no, no, that's fine. Uh, do we have any notes? Uh, I asked where they were. Sorry for, yep, 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 yep. So, is that, there's a few bits up here. I left Henley Church here. about 11 o'clock on Valentine's Day. I was talking to an archaeologist. Uh, oh, I don't know how to spell archaeologist. Fossil. 
It's a sea creature, there we go. like an octopus. I suppose they find dinosaur bones everywhere. Just because we're on land now doesn't mean millions of years ago this place wasn't at the bottom of an ocean. Yeah. There's still more to see there. Okay. I left Henley Church about 11 o'clock on Valentine's Day. I was talking to an archaeologist who said that they uncovered maybe? some fossils resembling a strange cephalopod-like creature. Strange place to find an octopus, really. What? Do you think I've got something to do with Dr. Decker's murder? Maybe you should ask your assistant who Decker saw that day. Assistant. Uh, wait, let's just say Jaya. Sorry. Okay. Assist. Assassin? No. Assist. Tent. Sorry. I don't know. Is it me or did it just really get cold in here? It was you. Um. 11. Oh. Clock. I don't know what you're talking yeah, no, that's 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 my fault. I left Henley Church around about eleven o'clock on Valentine's Day. Day. I was talking to an archaeologist who said it then covered some fossil. Uncovered. So it's gonna be the fossils. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh god. Um. Okay. Hannah's parents. Can't help me. Yeah, no, that's again, that's my fault. I was taking a shot in the dark church, there. About eleven o'clock on, on Valentine's, Valentine's Day. Day. I was talking to an archaeologist who said it then covered some fossils resembling a strange cephalopod. 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 Okay, that that's fossil. I kind of figured it church, would be. About eleven o'clock on Valentine's Day. I was talking to an archaeologist who said it then covered some fossils resembling a strange cephalopod-like creature. Maybe creature? Strange place to find an octopus, really. What? Do you think I've got something to do with Dr. Decker's murder? Maybe you should ask your assistant who Decker saw that day. Who Decker saw that day. Okay. Uh, no. I don't think you had... Anything to do with Dr. Decker's murder? It was it was a missed call. Okay. It was Valentine's Day, so I wasn't in the mood for conversation. Okay. Uh, is there anything else we really need to go into? Mind Stretch Outreach arranges pro gifted uh, gifted children. Let's spell children right. Should I know something? No, probably not. Probably not. Mind Stretch Outreach arranges programs for gifted children. It's for poor, clever kids who can't afford private education. Poor, clever kids? It's not kids. much of a charity, I guess, but it certainly ends up with a lot of clever people who are thankful to the people running it. Which, in this case, is Dr. Decker. Okay, how about Dr. Decker ran the charity? God damn it. What was that? No. Suggested. Okay, ran. Suggested. Okay, so that. Um, Dr. Decker. Mind stretch. Out. Re I don't think this is going to work. I think Dr. Decker oh, okay. set up mind stretch outreach so that he could influence the minds of children at an early age. Getting them to believe they could be anything they wanted to be. Since his death, it's been disbanded. No more minions of Dr. Decker. Okay. Minions? Sorry, I don't know. Uh, 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 shut down? I don't know what you're talking about. Damn it! Okay, uh, Henley Ch Church, Church. Let's get that up to the top. Then we've got uh, Hannah Like Charity. Hannah was forever giving to charity. Her things, her time, our money. Her time. I actually suggested a charity that Dr. Decker mentioned called Mind Stretch Outreach. Her time? Should I know something? Maybe. That? Maybe. Sorry. Uh, Han Hannah's time. That's not really something. Okay. Uh, you 
suggested the char charity. Yeah, yeah, that's gonna end up with the uh, Hannah like charity. Okay. Hannah was forever giving to charity. Her things. Giving to charity. Giving to charity. It's gonna end up with the Hannah like charity. Yeah. Okay. Hannah was forever um. giving to charity. Her things. Her time. Our money. Her thing. I actually suggested a charity that Dr. Decker mentioned called Mind Stretch Outreach. Uh. Her, her things? Sorry. No. no. Um. Oh, how about your money? Pass. Damn it. Uh. Charity Dr. Decker men mentioned. Aha, aha, aha. A hint? Oh. Why? How would I guess that I should ask about his mother? Your mother. Mother. She's dead. Thanks for bringing that up. Dead? I don't know. How did she die? I've got nothing. Bring a uh, mother death? She stopped breathing. I don't know. I was six. Something to do with her lungs. Huh. Father? Can't open. Sorry. Okay. Siblings? Sorry. Okay. Family? Sorry. I don't know. Uh okay, Henny Church. Henny Church about eleven o'clock on Valentine's Day. Eleven o'clock on Valentine's Day. I was talking Day. to an archaeologist who said it then covered some fossils. Uh okay. Oh fuck me. Uh I left Henny Church <laughs> about eleven o'clock on Valentine's Day. I was talking to an archaeologist who said it then covered archaeologist. She was interested. There we go. Maybe I misread. Maybe she was just being kind. I, I suppose most women wouldn't enjoy me talking about my dead ex for hours. I don't know how we got here, but okay. Committed. Wait, me committed or? <laughs> okay. Uh, so. It was. It was a missed call. It was Valentine's Day. So. Wait. She was interested. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, no, I can't really go backwards in the conversation. I think we missed out a part. It was, it was a missed call. It was Valentine's Day, so I wasn't in the mood for conversation. Uh, mood for conversation. I meant I wasn't in the mood to talk to Dr. Decker. Yeah. Uh, missed call? Oh, double Pass. question mark. Yeah, no, 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 that's fine, that's fine. Uh, what have we got left up here? Not much, really. I think we've done pretty good. Okay, I don't think we're going to get any further with him. I will type in one more time. Uh, oh, uh, didn't I ask? Uh, uh, why do you think think the children were minions? Just felt like he was growing this child army of intelligentsia. Okay. And then there's this one left. Um, um, you know what? Let's see. Uh, unavailable for another 64 seconds. Hannah was forever giving to charity. Her things, her time, our money. I actually suggested a charity that Dr. Decker mentioned called Mind Stretch Outreach. Okay. Mind Stretch. Okay. I'm going to ask for a hint, but because I'm curious of what exactly on the charity bit I missed. So, uh, hint. Another 44 se 34 seconds. Is there anything else we missed? Let's have a little looky-loo. Set fire to Hannah's I've clothes. I've kept almost all of her stuff. Uh, as she left it. Should I know something? No, no. Almost all her staff. That's not really something. Hannah's cl 
clothes? Yeah. Um. I've kept almost all of her stuff as she left it. Just the clothes. I've decided to burn those yesterday, so here I am. Hannah loved clothes. Every season, she'd donate her entire wardrobe to some charity or another. Okay. And only buy stuff she loved. And I was left with winter. I don't even know what her favourite season was. Left with winter? Yeah, I, uh, I guess we did speak about that, kind of. Um... So, she loved, uh, Hannah loved clothes. Alright, th these two I can't, oh. What season do you like? Interesting. I like winter. Being snowed in with Hannah, just the two of us. It's paradise. And that doesn't take us any further, okay? Uh, I'm assuming I can't get the hint. Like, it's the it's the last one here, this frickin' charity one. Hannah was forever giving to charity. Her things, her time, our money. Her things, her time, your money? I don't know. Yeah, I didn't really think that was gonna work, but I had Hannah to try it. Hannah was forever giving to charity. Her things, I, her I time, can't think of what this would be. Our money. I actually suggested a charity that Dr. Decker suggested mentioned correct. called Mind Stretch Outreach. Oh, um, have you considered giving Hannah's stuff to charity? Come on, Matt, that, that's like a really, uh, um, volunteer. I don't know what you're talking about. Okay. Uh, volunteer at a charity. Hint. God damn it. Another six seconds. I think I think he ne he a needs to move on from Hannah, but he also has to do something to honor her, and that will help him with this kind of crazy, you know, repeating day thing that he thinks is going on. But I can't figure out a way to kind of push him there, you know. Uh, hint. What? How would I know that? Did Dr. Decker and Hannah know each other? Hannah never met Dr. Decker. She did donate to his charity once, though. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I don't want to do... I don't want to do Mariana right now. Let's go on to Bryce. Bryce, Bryce is weird. Bryce is going to keep it interesting, except for we'll do it in the next episode. Hey, Bryce.